Welcome back, developers. If you have a database with two or more tables that have a relationship between them, you often are going to want to have a special type of select statement which uses joins to show information from both of those tables at one time. So let's take this simple example here. I have select star from orders. And if I execute this query, you can see I have all 10 orders here and everything about the order I need to know, including which customer. But all I see is the foreign key for the customer ID. I don't actually know which customer it is. I don't have their name or email address or anything like that. So how do I get that? Well, that's where we're going to use a join. So let's see how we're going to join these two tables. So I'm going to come up here to orders and I'm going to say join customers. Notice that join is all capitalized. It's one of those special SQL keywords. I'm going to execute this. And you're going to see something like a lot of something. Like, for example, here's every order matched with every customer ID. Now, order two doesn't use customer ID one. Order two uses customer ID two. Order five uses customer ID two. So why am I showing this? Well, this is known as an outer join. Outer join shows join these two tables and match every row here with every row there. And so we get a huge amount of information and it's not real good for us. What we're going to typically want to do is show a inner join and inner joins is what we use a vast majority of the time. Let's take a look at that. So I'm going to say inner join. And if I execute this, it does the same thing. You might be going, well, wait a second, why? Well, I need to specify one more section of my clause. And that's going to be the on. When I say on, now I'm going to say, hey, match these two values. So which value do I want to use? Well, I have a customer ID inside of my orders table, and I have a customer ID inside of my customers table. And because we've established that relationship with a foreign key matching up to the primary key, this is going to give us what we want. Now, because they have the same name, I have to implicitly specify which one I'm talking about. So I'm going to say orders dot customer ID equals customers dot customer ID. Now, when I execute this, I have all 10 orders and it only shows me the values that I want from the appropriate customer record. So this way, I don't have all these duplicates. I know what data goes with what. And this is a properly formatted inner join. Now, I could actually inner join on more than two tables. I use this as one set of data that I can say inner join and specify another set of information. So you can actually do joins across multiple tables. It's not uncommon to actually have four, five, six, or more tables inside of a complex SQL statement. But let's look at simplifying some of this just a little bit. We're using that select star. Remember I said we can't always use that star. It's sometimes a little bit too much information. So now I'm only going to use the fields I want. I'm going to choose first name. And notice that Heidi SQL comes in here and specifies, hey, when you say customers dot, here's a list of fields. I can hit tab and it highlights it for me. So customers dot, last name, comma, customers dot, email, that should be good. Now I can execute this and you see my SQL statement. It has all of my orders table fields and then it has just the ones I wanted from my customers table. So this is a great example of using an inner join. Now there's actually two more types of joins besides the full outer join and the inner join. So maybe I want, for example, all of my orders table and only the related customer table. Let's take a look at that. So you're gonna say orders, notice this on the left side, and specify left join. 
And you say, well, wait a second, that looks identical when I execute. Yes, it does. And that's because every order only has what's in my customers. And if I'm only showing my customers that are in my orders, I don't have any duplicates. So let's come over right here and change my left join to be a right join. And when I do that, notice that here I have all of my orders with the matching customers. And then below it, any customer that does not have an order, I'm showcasing there. That's a real important thing because I'm showing all of my customers, not just the ones that place an order. So that's where you might use a left outer join or right outer join. It depends upon when you say this table and then what join you have and the second table, which is the left and which is the right. So just a little something to keep in mind, but here is an example of that being used. I hope you found this video helpful. We've got another video on how to use select statements using aggregate functions. That is finding the biggest value, the smallest value, averages, counts, etc. That's coming up next in our video series. So stay tuned for that.